Uh, welcome to another visual C++ tutorial. I'll start by creating a new project. Um, uh, then select window windows form application select visual c plus plus and enter in the while loop that's the name of my new project while loop that should give you guys a clue of what i intend to do so make sure windows form application is selected click on ok now that the system is ready i'm going to enlarge my form to about that size i might as well just make it uh, maximize the window space and um yeah might as well just take care of the property of this uh, form set the background color the background color may be something yeah why not that's it dark gray and and um let me look for the group box enter two or three group box in there just to make it look pretty yeah it's one group box that'll be the main group box now enter a couple of group box in it so maybe just copy this one across as well copy this very group box there and reduce the size i want it in the previous group box and i need uh, the following components i need the list box uh list box right in there now I need three buttons one two and three and i need uh, one text box maybe a label and one more label up there so what i'll do now is just to customize all of these components that i have on my system and i will get back to you guys as soon as i finish modifying these buttons and uh, other objects okay guys this is how my interface is looking right now when i change the text property of uh, each uh, button so the first one will be the multiplication timetable so let's just change that to multiply there and uh, followed by the second button that will be reset and finally just call this exit there so let me double click on the exit button right away just enter application column column exit right there there that's cool so the exit is out of the way and now let's go to the button right here see this very button that's button one so i would double click on the form itself and just enter as follows once uh, as soon as the system opens i'll say button one just make that enable make that force i'm gonna make that force the reason you will find out shortly now in the reset button with the reset button i will use that to enable the same button right there come down here and just make that true so that's uh, true there okay the next thing i will do now is to in the reset button just enter as follows as well uh that's a uh, list box one list box one and what i want to do is just to get rid of the whatever item is inside the list box itself so just play it and okay then follow by text box I think I have a text box text box one text box one text and let's play it so I believe I'm ready to start my my loop right now okay so one thing is I think I should I uh, will be using one variable so I might as well reset the value of this variable to zero the variable is meant to be up here so I'll say int i okay that's int i which is already declared now I will then double click on my multiplication button right there so now so start with my coding of the 
while loop and say y plus i less than and equals to 11 okay that's fine 11 then enter my curl bracket there I think I will have to close that bracket now so that I don't forget and I just need to say i plus equals 1 so I increment i so now watch out for this list box list box 1 add the following item okay let's now add add this so what am I adding get that in bracket I whatever the value of I is plus speech mark multiply speech mark plus so the plus sign is more or less bringing together the content that will be in the text box and the I the numbers that will be generated so that is text box text box 1 undo that's an error text box 1 that's why I prefer to just copy and get it over with yep just copy it and paste it right there sorry about that plus speech mark equals close the speech mark plus I then multiply that by whatever I have in my text box right there okay so but this is going to give me an error so I have to what I have to do is to convert it so let me just I might as well just get it converted right away and say oh come on something wrong with this laptop so let's come back and say convert double column to int 32 to int 32 and that will be all hopefully yep close that and just let's check it let's put another bracket there to end that so I'm just say I'm gonna save it and uh, rebuild the program and see what will happen. Well, right now it's showing it's successful. So suppose if I enter a value here, that ought to enable this box. So what will happen is, let me go back in here, double click on this, and just ask that to officially enable this. So, anytime I enter whatever text content in there, it should enable the button itself. So, I enter a value in here and click. That's it. Multiplication time to have 5 multiplication timetable up to 12. There's some mistake here, so I need to allow more space in there. So, let's go back to the design view, get that over with okay so increase this and uh, the following just maybe reduce yeah that's about fine bring this down a little bit and maybe just drag this down and increase this so that we can have more room bring all of this down that's fine. And bring this down. More room. There should be more room, hopefully. Okay, now this label. Let's just enter. Enter a number. Good. That's good enough. Enter a number. Maybe to be multiplied, but you guys get the whole idea. Alright. Enter a number let's say number to multiply hey okay, that's good enough okay a number 
add to multiply and just bring this here yeah that's all right looking good so uh, save rebuild again run the program once the system is ready let's run the program there enter a number to multiply there maybe nine timetable click on that so we have a nine timetable and uh, let's click on reset that works enter five timetable that's working fine but we still can now see the whole content in here might as well reduce the font size let's come back in here reduce the font size in the list box make it 16 that's good enough run the program again now entire value there multiply now we get all all of the multiplication timetable so guys as you can see that's how you develop multiplication timetable using Y loop so let me just show you the codes one more time before I end the program right here when the form load the button one that is the trigger button is disabled button two that is supposed to be the reset button those are the lines of code in there now button one itself as it's meant to be the trigger button here is the Y loop right in there you can see Y I is less than an equals to 11 you might be wondering it should be 12 but remember the best very first value is zero and that zero one is added to it so it becomes one okay and this is how we enter the content in i and the text box into the list box now this text box itself we also use it as a trigger function that will enable the text uh, the button that is disabled right here and uh, the last the last line of code is the exit and that's how you write your exit in visual c++ so i'm just going to run the program again one more time enter maybe 12 times table there multiply reset 11 timetable multiply and reset let's go for 10 times table multiply reset maybe eight timetable and this is how you write a while loop multiplication timetable bye for now